You know, as you gather this summer, maybe some fun game or trivia nights are ahead. Uh, and this can be a way to incorporate all ages, mm -hmm. encouraging problem solving, or maybe just some family bonding. Lifestyle and parenting expert Amanda Musher is going to join us via Zoom with some fun examples. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? We're doing fantastic. Thank you. I know Tom, uh, Todd, Todd, that's my co-host, Todd, not Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Todd, it. Todd, yes, <laughs> is a big uh, family game night person, right? Uh, we live together. Right? I mean, Uno is a big hit in our house. Yeah. Right? I mean, uh, we, yeah. we have 11 year old and four year olds are trying to find a game that everybody can play. Uno seems to be the, the center. But I know that I've been wanting, and this is weird because I don't really play it that often, but I kind of want to teach my daughter how to play chess. What do you have for us? So I love the idea of taking a game that maybe parents want to learn how to play right. and teaching it to our younger kids. So story time chess is this awesome game that teaches kids as young as three how to play chess. And they've come up with this really great idea. So each piece is a character in a story. So rather than this is this and this moves this way, it's a fun, creative character. And it tells the story of how this piece moves and why. So kids are learning how to play chess and adults, you can learn right along with them or maybe dust off some of our chess skills. Okay, what age group are we talking for that? Because that, that sounds like something I want to try. Three and up, so okay. as young as three. So okay. that's a, so definitely. And when you think of little ones, you don't think playing chess, but right. they have really designed a way for little ones to learn. I love it. We think of forty-four year olds. You don't really think of chess <laughs> in my household, but I think I would play that one. Yes. <laughs> All right. What's up next? So if you're going to be having over friends, family, different ages, and you're looking for a game for everyone to play, check out all of us. So this has a really fun concept. So you put together groups of mixed ages, and it's a trivia game. And you're going to ask these questions based on generations. So we have boomers, we have Gen X, we have uh, millennials, we have Gen Z. And so you ask these different questions. And the more you know about your generation, the better that you're going to do. And they even have some fun ones where you ask a question from your generation, but nobody in your generation could answer. So sometimes you feel like super knowledgeable, and then sometimes you're like, I am old oh, and yeah. I know nothing. Yeah, like when I listen to the radio today and I have like I have no idea who any of these people are anymore. Okay. Right. I got it. Okay, cool. And then exit the game. I'm hoping that uh, I'm just saying I'm just seeing the words here, exit the game. I'm hoping it's some type of escape room type of thing. What do you, what is that? Exactly. So if you love escape rooms, you love puzzles and clues, or you're like me and the idea of an escape room sounds terrifying, <laughs> you can actually try exit the game. So it gives you everything that you need with this cool scenario. There's a bunch of different scenarios that you can look into. It gives you these puzzles and clues that you have to figure out. You work as a team. So it's a great group activity to get out of these different situations. They have different varying ages. So it goes from 10 and up, 12 and up, and different levels of expertise. So you can really get a lot of people in on the fun and nobody is actually locked in a room, which is always a plus. <laughs> Although I do love, I mean, I'm an escape room fanatic, so <laughs> I'll do, I'll do all of those. Though. But now I'm trying it at home too. That's, that's very convenient. Yep. And then pop under pressure. So pop under pressure is a really fun, quick game where you have to come up with different ideas to different uh, categories. But rather than the regular timer, there's actually a balloon. So as everybody is writing down their answers to these oh, categories, no. the balloon is inflating, inflating, and then it pops. So it will definitely give you a startle, especially if you're like me and you're really, really concentrating. So it's just a fun, quick activity that you can kind of, when you're looking for a quick, fun game, um, pop under pressure is a great one to grab. <laughs> any, any timer that makes noise and then rings stresses exactly. me out. So that's just going Popping to, balloons. yeah. Love it. And then finally, we got something called socially twisted. So t Socially Twisted is our adult game. This is the one that you can have your friends over, but you definitely want to make sure the kiddos <laughs> are in bed or in another room. So the idea is you get a card with a story. Now, I was looking through these to come up with one to read to you. Many are not morning TV appropriate. So, <laughs> um, but that makes it even more fun when you get together with some friends. So you have to tell a story like, going to ikea just for the meatballs or <laughs> your grandma's new boyfriend is younger than you and then you also get a bunch of words that you have to use the idea is you come up with a crazy funny story who has who comes up with the best story lots of laughs 
lots of fun. They have a family edition. Make sure if you have kids, you're grabbing that <laughs> one. But this is this is don't play the adult one uh, with the kiddos. That's okay. my little uh, my little warning. Okay, fair. I love it. And, and been that, that's good for folks who who like like improv comedy and th th people yeah. who can think. That sounds like my kind of game. Yeah, I like that. Right, yeah. right. You can make yep. up a story. Hey, thanks, Amanda. Thanks for all the great mm -hmm. ideas. I'm gonna check out more than one of those. I'm sure. You want to learn more about what you can get your family? Head to amandamushro.com.